Hello everybody, welcome to Anablox. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video, and the topic we're going to focus on today is the top 10 most hilarious deaths in anime. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you aren't, you're missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe so that you will always get the latest information about anime from us. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's dive right into this video. Number 10, Tough Love. Sakura is repeatedly killed with a spiked club and resurrected so the cycle can continue. This is the guy who will insult his god by creating immortality in humans, preventing women over 12 from aging. The black comedy alternates between feeling sympathy for his many deaths at Dokuro's hands and laughing at his misery. Number 9, Limbo is not a fun place. It turns out that death is only final in the world of the living in Limbo. You can do it a thousand times and just brush it off. The young residents quickly learn as they become victims of a slew of potentially fatal incidents. As a result, we're treated to a slew of hilarious moments when Otanashi and company get caught in their own anti-angel traps. Dismembering lasers, bottomless pits, and collapsing ceilings have never been more amusing. Number 8. All Deaths we couldn't pick just one hilarious death because each episode is only a few minutes long. Rather, the entire insane package. Whether it's blowing up criminals with hellfire bullets, destroying mutant lobsters, baby hybrids with literal plot armor, or transforming into a race car that breaks the space-time continuum to destroy a mechanized version of himself. This is not a fabricated story. Number 7. Fratricide the Brain and the Braun Brothers not only served as one of the series' most lethal villains, but also demonstrated how insanely powerful the titular One Punch Man is. Marugori and Fukugao are demonstrating their strength when Saitama approaches them. And the three quickly engage in a battle, except that Marugori accidentally splatters his brother into pieces in the process. It happens so fast and so unexpectedly that you'll barely have time to laugh before watching in disbelief as Saitama defeats the giant with a single punch. Number 6. Not So Heroic Sacrifice Kazuma Sat may have thought he was going to die as a hero after pushing a young girl out of the way of an oncoming truck. As it turned out, things did not go exactly as planned. When confronted with the goddess Aqua, she reveals that it was a tractor that was approaching the girl and that she was not in any danger, and that he died as a result of shock. When a deity is laughing at the circumstances surrounding your death, you know you're having a bad day. Number 5. Aloha to the Aloha O Death is pretty much on par for the course in this interstellar comedy animation. And while the crew of the Aloha O dies on multiple occasions, this one stands out simply because our heroes go out with a cosmic bang at the end of the first episode. Dandy can only think of one thing to do when stranded on a hostile alien planet with nothing but his robotic and feline companions. Activate his secret weapon. A secret weapon that destroys the entire planet while they are on it. Number 4. The End of Potato Dono there are bound to be some funny moments in a magical girl anime, but this one really pushes the envelope. The untamed magic of part heroine, part evil conqueror, Anego, ends up turning some of the ingredients alive during a school festival where various students are running curry booths. The other vegetables, fearful of taking the final step towards becoming curry, can only watch in awe as the brave potato peels himself and throws himself into the mixture. Such a sacrifice brings tears to my eyes. Number 3. Dolph's Death There aren't enough words to describe how pathetic and hilarious this guy's death is. The adorable anime's lighthearted comedy manages to penetrate even the eerie topic of death. As when the traitorous Dolph reveals his plan to take over K Kingdom as its new ruler. And the unthinkable happens, he perishes on the spot, right away, exactly like that, without prior notice. It's as much an epic fail on the character's part as it is a major reason why this is the funniest death in anime. Number 2. I'm the best We're pretty sure that this is one of those serious and dramatic moments, but the comedic timing is just too perfect not to make us laugh. Featuring a rebel group fighting against the occupation of Earth armed with a single massive robot. The gang celebrates yet another victory, and Festo, the resident joker of the group, decides to show off his mad biker skills over the desert terrain. He has no idea that there is a grenade hidden in the compartment, 
After declaring that he's the best, it explodes, and while the rest of the group looks on in horror, we are laughing our asses off in the back. Number 1. Short-Lived Introduction Given that every episode of the series parodies a popular trope or genre in some way, it's no surprise that we ended up with one of the funniest anime deaths. The villainous Dr. Kabapu arrives to conduct the interview as the hopelessly romantic Watanabe and his two friends attempt to become civil servants, but his rather excessive entrance goes horribly wrong. The shock factor alone will have you in stitches within the blink of an eye. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.